He reduced all of the numbers and theories associated with the art of pitching to a two-part equation, wins and losses. For Whitey Ford, it was all about the W's, and few were ever as successful as the little lefty from the Big Apple. Ford anchored a Yankee staff that was the engine of the most successful dynasty in history. Manager Casey Stengel appeared to mix and match his pitchers at will during the 1950s, but there were two constants, Whitey Ford and Yankee pennants. Born October 21st, 1928 in New York City, the 5 foot 10 inch Ford burst on the scene in 1950, winning nine of his 10 decisions and helping the Bronx Bombers to their third World Series win in four seasons. After two years in the Army, Ford returned in 1953 to win 18 games against only six losses as the Yankees won their fifth consecutive Fall Classic title, a record that has never been approached. For the next seven seasons, Ford evolved into the ace of the staff, used judiciously by Stengel, who wanted his gutsy southpaw to pitch in the most crucial games. Ford led the American League in wins in 1955, captured the earned run average title twice, and helped the Yankees win two more World Series over that span. But when Ralph Houck replaced Stengel in 1961, the new skipper promised to pitch Ford every fourth day. Ford thrived on the extra work, winning the Cy Young Award in his first season and pitching at least 244 innings per year from 1961 through 1965, a totally eclipsed only once in his first nine campaigns. With two more World Series titles in 1961 and 62, Ford's Yankees totaled 11 pennants and six Fall Classic titles in his 16-season career. Ford battled shoulder problems in his final two seasons, the only two years he would finish with non-winning records. His final mark of 236 and 106 meant that he won 69% of his decisions, a record for modern era pitchers with at least 150 wins. Whitey Ford was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1974.